And I'm back, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. It's your favorite homegirl, E. Reed, your favorite host that loves to smile the most. I'm back, y'all. And you know what? I want y'all to sit back, relax, turn it up, and check this out. And I'm back, everybody. That's right. It's your favorite homegirl, E. Reed, your favorite host who loves to smile the most. And welcome to another episode of Read Reality Radio Presents Binge and Rewind. And for y'all who are watching uh, the this episode or listening to this episode on YouTube, thank you for subscribing and joining me right here on Read Reality TV. I appreciate that. I know it probably seems like a little confusing, but, you know, that's what it is. But... So just to give you all a little feed, uh, you know, a little background or whatever. So binge and rewind are show or episodes that I'm doing where it's basically my review of shows and movies that I watch. And then in addition to the readality um, binge and rewind episodes, there is another segment that is separate called my two cents. And basically that's, you know, if I if there's extra thoughts that I have that are a little bit more personal and not, you know, uh, more on the bias side versus being, you know, uh, uh, neutral to my opinion um, on Benjamin Rewind episodes. That's what my two cents is about. So basically saying all that to say and to make it even more simpler because I'm saying all this off the cuff. But my two cents is in addition to Benjamin Rewind episodes that go further into my explaining why I think the way that I think about the pin- the opinion that I give of the show. OK, if you if that sounded confusing, just rewind it and then like just try and figure it out. Um, but that's the best way I could explain it. Anyway, let's get into what I'm going to talk about and what I'm going to review. So I watched the Netflix series of Kevin Hart, um, his show that he has on there, which was quite interesting. Um, well, I'm not even let me take that back. I, I think I'm being too generous when I say quite interesting because I have already um heard his book because I, I do auto audible on Amazon. So I have a lot of books. And so one of the books that I have is the Kevin Hart book. And I've already listened to it. I think I bought it like a year ago or something like that. And a lot of what was on the show I already knew for the most part. Except for little minor details that, you know, that was already exposed through the blogs and through social media and the other media outlets about things that were going on, you know, like his infidelity, him getting caught, uh, the friend who set up the camera to get him caught and extort money from him, um, the fight that he had with his friend on the plane, you know, things of that nature. And so it goes into it's six episodes. Each episode is, uh, is it six? Yes, it's six episodes. And each episode is about maybe roughly about 24 minutes or so, maybe 24 to 30 minutes. So roughly you're looking at about three hours of binge time on watching it, of course, with no commercials because it's on Netflix. Duh. And so we can always appreciate the no commercial thing. However, I was expecting something a little bit different. Uh, So here it goes. Uh, the first episode, oh, let me, let me start with this. Okay. So for me, when I was watching it, these are the things that I wanted to learn from it. I wanted to learn, um, what does Kevin want us to know about him? Like, what did he see? What did he learn? Like, I wanted to know what was that? Like, what's the, what's the purpose of this six mini episode series? Like, what's the purpose of it? And then I wanted to know had he changed his behavior or his thought process based on from the beginning, from the first episode to the last episode, because I didn't know what to expect, but these are my, the, this is what I'm thinking when I'm about to watch, uh, an auto docu series about, a celebrity okay um and then i wanted to know if he was able to dev- define um his definition of a hustler okay and we'll we'll get into all that later that'll probably be a my two cents piece or anything or whatever um so when it comes to the to the show so episode one this is i'm just gonna go through my notes and i'm gonna uh just t- read to y'all what i wrote okay this is what I learned from Kevin Hart on the first episode, that he's very vain. 
He comes off as arrogant. He uses the word I a lot, like a lot. Okay. Uh, he justifies dismissing his wife for work and success is why it is why he should it. Okay. So he was calling his wife or whatever. And you know, they were supposed to link up, I think for dinner or something like that. And so he, she was, you know, complaining about how he's never available. And he made the comment to her, which of course, could, you know, they might have a little joke between them. I don't know, but this is what was filmed on camera. Okay. Where he's talking about where, uh, you know, you love me because basically you love me cause I'm never home. Cause I'm always out working, you know? So if I'm doing all this work, then I get to, create and build all of what you enjoy but if I'm not out the house working then you can't enjoy anything so I just thought that was a little weird well not weird but you know it's just it just there's no balance of work and home life so that's what I picked up on that uh let's see he admires and he idolizes his mother his mother was a big staple in his life it, a lot of y'all know the story you know the bond that he had with his mother and everything. So I just thought that was interesting that they went into a little bit deeper about his mom and the role that she played in his life. So I thought that was cool. Um, let's see. Uh, oh, learned that his mom's cutoff game of his brother was real strong. So his brother was a little wild child. And so his mom decided that she was just going to emancipate him. Like she went down to the courthouse and she made her teenage son a grown man in the matter of a court proceeding because he was just too much to handle which is why she was able to focus so much on Kevin Hart and get him so active in activities so that he didn't have any room to get into any trouble unlike his brother okay uh let's so, so basically she created the Kevin that we see today you know all of that moving around and, and bouncing from one project to the other that is a product his adult actions is a product of what he did when he was coming up with his mom um so that explains that you know it explains the pathology of his success it begins with her and let's see he decided to oh he was pitching an ad oh what was this for he was pitching an ad to somebody and what did i put he his success as a part of the deal oh that's what it was i think it was for that movie that he wants to do with chadwick and um it's basically you do a remake of uptown saturday night and he the way he was doing the pitch of the movie on why the actor should come on board with his idea he was basically including the in, in that sale you know how it's gonna benefit his success and I'm sorry, but if I want, if somebody's pitching to me an idea, I just want to know how it's going to benefit me. I don't want to know how it's going to benefit me and you, especially if we're not a team. Do you know what I mean? Like, this isn't a collaborative thing. You have an idea. You want me on board. So you need, I want to, I only want to know what's in it for me, you know, but that's, that's how I look at business. I don't know, but I just found it interesting, the detail that he had volunteered of how Chad being in the movie with him would, you know, help his success. I just thought that was interesting. Um, <coughs> excuse me. So th then there was another thing where with his trainer, who was also one of his good friends, he ends up, he ends up always being late to meet up with his friends. So it, it's interesting to me that when it comes to money, he's always like he's on time or at least he appears like he's on time. But when it comes to like a healthy lifestyle and your family, like he's late. So I'm, I want you to pay attention to how I just put that in order. OK, so put a pin right there. Uh, What else did we learn in episode one? Um, Let's see. Too busy for family, too busy for healthy uh, lifestyle. Uh, let's see. I feel, what did I put here? Um, now here's something that was really sad is that his mom had passed away before she was able to actually see her son on stage. So I felt really bad for him because, but, and, but the irony is this in the, in the episode, they show film of when his mom used to record him, you know, being silly or whatever. And so I feel like, your mom was able to see his mom was able to see him perform on stage. It was just in the stage of their own home. 
and she filmed it and she saw it firsthand. And I think that's a beautiful thing because even though he feels like his mom didn't see him on stage, she did. She was there at the very beginning. You know what I mean? And now she's got a good seat up above watching it below. You know what I mean? I, I just kind of looked at it like that. I just thought that was interesting. Um, but also kind of heartbreaking, too. And she passed away from ovarian cancer. And I, I could I I don't even want to imagine. I, I really don't. Uh, but I, f I feel like with that all happening with him, that's when he he decided that okay I'm I need to I'm gonna go ahead and build an empire you know for the most part when it came to like the passing of his mom and stuff like that I think that was the moment where he was like you know what I, I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna build this and this is gonna be bigger than what I initially wanted to do and he never wanted because he just never wants to go back to the way that he used to live. You know what I mean? So that was episode one. It was kind of like, you know, a slow foot into getting to know Kevin and the behind the scenes, Kevin, and how he grew up a little bit on his, you know, what the con contribution of his mother and the staple that she played in his life and getting him, you know, to to always be active and busy and to continue doing something. You know what I mean? And uh I, I think that's I think that's a beautiful thing. I'm I'm I can appreciate and respect that. Like I respect Kevin uh Kevin Hart's grind. I do. I really, really do. I respect it. I would appreciate if he could find a level of balance, you know, so it can make me respect it even that much more. However, you know, to each their own and their own journey. And if I'm not mistaken, like Kevin Hart and I are closer in the same age. So I don't know if that's like like a blow to my ego or what. But, you know, we all dealt with the cards with cards were dealt with. So, you know, that's his path this mine. So I'm talking to you about him. Yeah. <laughs> so there we go with that. So I hope you all enjoyed this little quick review of episode one on the Kevin Hart series on Netflix. And uh, I will be back soon with uh part two of this because like i said there are six episodes each of them was about 24 to 30 minutes a piece and some of these reviews are probably going to be shorter than others because i think there was maybe like one or two episodes i didn't really write any notes because it was just kind of like what am i supposed to talk about like that's just basic life. You know what I mean? I don't know. I, it just wasn't as important, I guess, which is why I didn't write notes about it. But that's neither here nor there. This is episode one. We got five more to go. And I will talk to y'all in a little bit. Thank you for joining me. I'm E. Reed, your favorite host who loves to smile the most. And I love you. Talk to you later. Bye.